When we created My Product Library, the initial goal was to give you the ability to store your products. And so the objective we had was to give you the ability to go ahead and store the original purchase price, all the URLs, the bonus links, and everything associated with that product. And we've done just that. But what we discovered was that people had 600, 700, even 800 products. So if you look here, my ranking is 41. I currently have about 600 products inside this library. Now, most of them do not belong to me, and a lot of them were actually given to me as review copies. So there was no out-of-pocket for the products I have here. But what that means is there are 40 other people above me that have over 700 products. And through our surveys and some of our group meetings that we've had, we've discovered that this has been a big problem inside this marketplace. Now, there's nothing wrong with buying products as long as you are monetizing those products, as long as you have a way to make back your investment and actually make a profit from those products. And if that's you, then this probably will not apply to you. But if you find yourself spinning your wheels and constantly out there buying the next shiny object, then I want you to pay close attention to this video because we have done something spectacular with my product library, and I believe this one feature right here has the potential to set you on the path to success, and I think we're gonna save you a lot of money in the process, and you're gonna have a clear objective on where you need to be spending your money and where your focus needs to be in your business. So, I am over here on a tab called Wake Up Call. You can see the Wake Up Call right here from your menu. Now notice we have three folders right here on this one screen. We have what's called the 90-day evaluation. And right now I have $2,120.96 inside that folder. That means for the past 90 days, I have spent $2,120.96. I also have a folder called currently being used. And I have a grand total over there of $94.67. And then the one that's going to grab your attention is I have this folder over here called Never Used. These are products that I have purchased and I have never, ever used them. And we have a grand total of $4,571.18. Now, if I open up this top folder here, 90-day evaluation, you will see for less than 30 days, my total is $297. My purchases over 30 days is $348. And I can go through here and I can look at these original purchases. And if I come down here, I've now got over 60 days, $1,475.96. Now, this isn't bad because remember, I'm not one to buy a lot of products. But for a lot of you, these numbers are going to be pretty high. Now, I'm going to go ahead and close this folder here. And now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to open up this one that says currently being used. I've only got two products inside of there right now. One was for the last 30 days and that totals $47. It's this product right here. And then I've got one that I marked over a year ago or I purchased over a year ago. And that one's $47.67. So your goal is to take the products that you are buying Every time you load a product into my product library, it is going to be right here inside the 90-day evaluations. That means you have 90 days to decide what you're going to do with that product. So step one, all you have to do is open up this folder and anything that you find yourself using, for instance, this one right here, Video Hub, I'm going to click this and I'm going to come up here and I'm gonna say, mark this product as being used. So our goal at this point is to identify the products that we're using versus the products that we are not using. And now we're gonna tell you exactly how much you are spending on products that you're not using versus products that you are using. So go through this 90-day evaluation and find all the products that you're using. Go ahead and check them. And then you're going to come up here and you're going to mark this product as being used. And as you do that, the product will then leave the 90-day evaluation and it will fall down here 
into the products that are currently being used. Now, you may be asking the question, well, what if I don't do anything with the product up here? I just leave it alone. So what's going to happen is it's going to default to the category never used. Okay, so your goal is simple. Just go through here, mark the products that you're using. That's all you have to do. And then we will explain step two, which takes place with identifying those products that we are making a profit in the next video.